The asbestos issue is not a thing of the past. It, it continues to this day. We want to end this man-made disaster. So let's ban asbestos. Well, one of the roles of the Office of the Surgeon General is to take science, translate it, and communicate it with the American public. A real emphasis over the years has always been dealing with prevention. There are so many preventable diseases out there. And one of our messages today to your community is, first and foremost, we acknowledge the incredible impact, health impact, health impact on, on the American people as a result of exposure to asbestos. We also know it's a preventable disease pathway. Our message has always been a prevention message, so we're happy to be here today to be able to share our enthusiasm, to be able to congratulate you and your group on what you do in terms of getting the message out, but also be able to communicate with the American public that the asbestos issue is not a thing of the past. It, it continues to this day and has a health impact on our nation. That's strong and powerful. For the many volunteers who spend countless hours helping the ADAO, what would you like to tell them? Well, to them, keep up the activism. So much of what we do in terms of prevention, and this is the big picture prevention uh, message that we try to get out there, really begins with that individual. Right? Whether we talk about prevention of asbestos-related diseases, whether we talk about prevention of obesity, whether we talk about prevention of cardiovascular diseases or smoking, it all begins at the individual activist level. It then gets be beyond that individual to the individual's family. The message gets spread. It gets to the individual's community. It gets to decision makers, to legislators. It gets to state and local authorities. But what you and your group does, right, that grassroots activism is so important to all our prevention messages. There, there's only so much that the federal government can do sort of overlying or from, from, from the Washington perspective. Uh, but so much more that if we work in partnership that gets done. You know, it's the old saying, it takes a village to get things done, right? And this is part of the public health village. And I'm happy that your activists, your volunteers, are party to this public health mission. You know, the mission of the Commission Corps, this uniform that I so proudly wear, is to protect, promote, and advance the health and safety of our nation. And that's what you and your organization and your volunteers are doing. Well, your third warning has been circling the globe. And people in Asia, thank you, because it's a document that we can all share and learn by. So you may be America's doctor, but you're actually far broader in the medical field, so we thank you. There is a young patient who was to present today. It's, it's Michael Bradley, mm -hmm. he's 29, and he hugged his father and, and was exposed to asbestos and is dying at the de today of mesothelioma. For his family that sees this video, we know the stories matter, and I know that you have read about his story. Mm -hmm. Is They have fought so hard to ban asbestos and find a cure. Do you have a message for the Bradleys? Well, to the Bradleys, to Michael, you know, I know he'll be watching the presentation today. I wish him the best. I wish him ease. I wish him high spirits in these very obviously stressful and difficult times. To the family, you have a hero amongst you. You have a person who didn't remain silent, right? Who, although affected by this exposure, affected by the diseases that come with this exposure, as opposed to just going to the wayside, came out and became a fighter and is a fighter. And so to the whole Bradley family, job well done in raising him to be a fighter. Job well done in terms of having him as an activist to have that impact. Uh, sometimes we think words like this just sort of fade away. They never fade away, right? There are always repercussions. They will touch people. And it's important that we have individuals like Michael there who is a fighter. On behalf of the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization, count on us as partners. And however we can work with your office, we remain committed to preventing exposure to eliminate all asbestos-caused diseases. Thank you, Dr. Great. Virginia. Thank you so much. The asbestos issue is not a thing of the past. It, it continues to this day. We want to end this man-made disaster. So let's ban asbestos.